Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode with the Canning Nana, and today we are canning chicken, and we're not doing a raw pack. This time, we're going to brown the chicken. There's my canner. So, if you watched my video from yesterday, um, I did pinto beans. So, you're watching this tomorrow, actually, so this is yesterday. So that's my pinto beans cooking in there. Okay, so, you want to brown them just like this. We don't want to cook them. Um, you don't want to cook them through, but you want to get a nice brown to them. And one of the benefits is they look much better in the jar. And also, they won't stick to the side of the jar like raw pack does. See that beautiful brown color? I'm, I'm doing this on a very hot skillet, um, cast iron skillet. Got it very, very hot before I started to do this. So these are these are browning very, very quickly. And once they're done, I am going to put them in the jar and add boiling water to them. Um, I don't have any chicken broth or chicken stock right now. I don't have any chicken broth or chicken stock at the moment. If I did, I would be filling the jars with that. Um, I like to make my own bone broth, my own chicken stock. Um, even a vegetable stock is really good. Sometimes if I don't have that, I use the better than bouillon, um, bouillon paste, which is excellent. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It is, it's amazing. It tastes better than bouillon. They're not kidding. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful product. Very, very easy to use. Comes out great in your cans. Um, tastes great. So if you want to use your chicken for soups or stews or or even um, chicken salad sandwiches, it the better than bouillon, um, when I use that, the chicken salad sandwiches are so tasty. They're really, really good. So I'm doing chicken breast here. You can also use chicken thighs, chicken legs, um, anything boneless to do what I'm doing right now. And um, and you can also do this with any other kind of meat, pork, uh, chicken, beef. You would do them all the same if you want to do um, the pre-cooked method. For raw pack, um, you usually just cut them into longer chunks or you can fit the whole a chicken breast in the jar and I will probably be doing that uh, probably later on today I'll be doing a little bit of that because I have um, I have more chicken I bought four packages and this is only two I'm gonna be using a little bit of it for dinner tonight and then the rest um, I'll be doing a raw pack method to show you uh, the difference and I do do both usually I use the raw pack for um, chicken salad sandwiches, or um, maybe shredded chicken for tacos, enchiladas, something like that, that I will use the chunks in casseroles, um, or, or shred it, I mean, I, you know, you can shred it for chicken salad sandwiches too. So what I do, like I said, I put this in a jar with hot water, boiling water, um, or your chicken broth, and put your seal on it. Um, after you wipe your rim with vinegar, of course. And then you will put it in the canner. For pints, it will be 75 minutes. And for quarts, it is 90 minutes. The same as the beans. And like I said in the bean video, um, normally, if I don't have enough chicken to fill a canner, which I obviously do this time, um, I will always add beans, some kind of beans to it because they have the same process uh, time and the same pressure. So I know that gets kind of annoying. I'm <clears throat> kind of moving away from it so that you guys can see, but yep, that's my, that's my canner. And I have another one that's um, being borrowed right now that I, I need to get back. Otherwise, I'd be doing both of those right now. So I've actually got two pressure canners and two water bath canners that I use. Um, so... Makes things go a lot faster when you're doing big batches of things. So I'll get the rest of this done and into the jars. And 
watch for part two and I will show you how this goes into the jars and what it looks like. It looks amazing. So here's part of the chicken, browned, looks amazing, this tastes amazing, doesn't stick to your jars, and is really good for all kinds of things. Anything you use fresh chicken for, you can use this. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below and please hit that subscribe button. Thanks. See you soon.